Hey guys, in this video we are going to learn stored procedure in SQL Server. So I will teach you how you can create a stored procedure to store the data inside the database or inside the table, how you can update that, how you can delete that. So I'm going to write the comment. Uh, make a simple table so I already selected and made the database with the name of SQL tutorial so I will create a table just a minute just, my, just a minute oh, yeah. create a table I write the table name user use parentheses and then I will write user underscore id primary key identity one by one right and also we need to use type of that is integer username virtual 50 characters right and user email right? I use same thing same data type in the last I leave the comma because I don't need that so execute that once you create the table then you will use it in a stored procedure so I write the comma and uh, comment stored procedure so write the keyword create and then you need to use procedure right then write the procedure name so i'm going to use save data this is my procedure name use parenthesis so inside there you need to pass two parameter you leave the first one because you don't need that to store the data because this column will get the automatic number with the help of primary key identity right so we need to pass two parameters on store procedure to store the data right so I call I use at the rate means I pass the I create the store procedure column right it's very simple write any name as you want I use you name so I will use you name inside the store procedure to store the data we need to assign the value which value first I'm gonna write the watch at the rate uh, you email right so those values will match on those columns I'm gonna show you step by step then after assigning the column then you need to use as begin and then you need to write the query on there so I need to use insert into the table name table name is the users and the values we need to pass those parameter on there so I copy it paste on there and comma and the second one is you email so this is our complete store procedure we will use that to store the data so select it and click to execute Mm. Uh, save data line number just a minute I need to check that okay has a mistake Vulture, right so I think it should be yes come on complete it successfully so we will use it to store the data right so you can use execute to store the data inside the save data store procedure you need to use this one keyword exec and use save data right this is a basically store procedure name like this one and then you need to assign the value for example I use uh, username is developer and use comma and email is admin at online it tips.com 
so this value will pass on this one parameter the second value will pass on this one parameter so i have used those parameter inside this one query to store the data so you need to use this is the first way and another way you can use complete execute this one so both are working well so you can use any one as you want so i'm going to select this one and click to i use f5 keyword to store the data as you can see so let's write the keyword select static from users to check the data is stored or not as you can see guys so when you will use another details so i'm going to use designer at the red gmail.com select that execute that and again i'm going to execute this one right as you can see so this is the first first section that I help us to store the data inside the table with the help of a store procedure. The next thing is I want to update the record right using a store procedure. So I use store update record. So you need to use same thing create procedure proceed and write the procedure name so inside this one section you need to pass three parameters right the first one is the user user id that help us to uh, update the record with the help of id we will update the record right then the second one is the user name i'm gonna write virtual 50 Russia user email you can write any name as you want on there I just use similar name so use as begin and and inside there I'm gonna use update query update the table name is the users set so I call the first one is username. This is my store procedure name like this one. And we need to assign the value at the rate. Mm, not this one. Uh, I think we need to pass. Just a minute. I need to pass the user name like this one. This is my column name. And we need to assign the our store procedure value or parameter, right? Then use comma and use the email. This is my table name. So here is the table name. I have made the table on there as you can see. Username, user email. So I pass those parameters on there. And assign the value is user email. This is my second column name then you need to use where keyword and the id of the table name like this one user id and assign the values you are store procedure id value like this one so the first column is your table name the second column name is your store procedure this one when you will use store procedure it will update your database column value right so select it and execute that you have successfully completed the store procedure to update the record let's uh, execute that so i'm going to use exc and i'm going to call update procedure this is my update procedure name then i need to pass the id which id you will use to update the store procedure so i'm going to write the one and then you need to write the data which data you will assign on username column so i'm going to use marketer and which email you will update so i leave the update right i just update the marketer i'll leave this one select this execute that so let's see 
it's working as you can see guys the second column is empty because I have use simple single quotation but you can change the email marketer.gmail.com select it execute that and again select it as you can see right so we have made two store procedure the first one is store the data the second one is update the record let's create a third one is display the data right you can use that to display the data so i'll use display data using store procedure so you same thing you can also use this keyword this way pros or proc right so i use new data parenthesis no parenthesis as begin and inside there you need to use simple select query select asterisk from the table name is users so select it and execute that so we will use exc view data that help us to display the our data as you can see right so the final one is Alter means um, update the procedure using a uh, alter keyword. So I'm gonna show you. Uh, so I use alter proc, right? And I'm gonna use same thing update record. So pass three parameters. The first one is I you I will use another way and other way names on there you uh, underscore ID. This is the integer. I don't need to assign the primary key identity on there. Update report. Right. Add the red. Add the red means I use the parameter that help us to update or delete the data inside the stored procedure, right? So I use username. I I use user. Watch fifty and in watch. Okay, right. So I use as begin and inside this one section, just a minute, I need to check that where I think something, uh, everything is perfect. Okay. So you need to use update query on the update. The table name is users and you need to use set keyword. Then you need to use your table column name so i select the username and assign the user parameter on there this one comma user underscore email and pass and pass the email over and this is your table name this one table name then inside there you need to pass the at the right u underscore id this is a store procedure parameter right so very simple select it execute that uh, okay i need to change update data so i already made that so i don't need to use same name on there to create a store procedure right so let's execute this one update data this is my latest store procedure that I help us to update the record so the first one I'm going to use um, C sharp developer no I need to pass the first parameter is the ID which ID you will use to update the record so the first one is first column value is 
is integer, so I don't need to use the comma. The second one is a username. I'm going to use C sharp developer. And third one is I use developer either com. So I think it should be displayed perfectly right. So let's execute the store procedure view. As you can see, the final one is I want to drop the store procedure, or you can say that how you can delete the store procedure. You need to use drop keyword and use proc. I use delete proc. You need to use drop procedure and write any name, any name of the store procedure to delete that. So for example, I want to update, uh, delete this one, store procedure right there. Select it, execute that successfully. If you will execute this one, store procedure, you will face the error, as you can see. Because this store procedure doesn't appear on our database. So I select the database, SQL Server, and where it is my store procedure storage uh, i think tables mm -hmm. i think here is the store procedure so not there so i'm going to show you guys just a minute Mm, okay, I need to store procedure. As you can see, guys, store procedure inside the store procedure have a two store procedures: the save data and view data. If you delete the view data store procedure, so I'm gonna just need execute that and refresh it. Go to again databases, SQL Server, Program Elaborate, and as you can see. So this video is very simple and uh, the very simple way to create a store procedure and update the store procedure and delete the store procedure. So I hope you are interested as well. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.